October 8th, about a month before the election, I'm scheduled to moderate a debate between candidates in Oregon Congressional District 5. The debate will be between Republican incumbent Lori Chavez de Reamer and Democrat state rep and businesswoman Janelle Bynum. It's a contest that will be watched across the nation as Democrats try to erase the Republican slim majority in the U.S. House. But Chavez de Reamer and Bynum are not the only candidates looking to represent the district that includes the majority of Clackamas County, all of Lynn County, and stretches across the Cascades to Deschutes County, including Sisters and Bend. There are four other candidates, including my first guest, independent candidate Brett Smith, a pipe fitter, welder, inventor, and former school bus driver, now maintenance director for a health care facility in Oregon City. Brett Smith lives in Malala. Brett Smith, welcome to Ion Northwest Politics. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, you're obviously not a fan of the two-party system. Uh, why not? Uh, I don't feel it's genuine, right? I feel like a lot of people don't feel represented by the two-party system anymore. Um, I got nominated by the independent party uh, based on that, you know, when I reached out to them. And I'm non-affiliated myself, you know, so that's all I got. Yeah, uh, you are the working class guy that everybody seems to be trying to get to vote for them. So why are you trying to get people to vote for you? For that exact reason. Uh, this, I'm going to keep circling back to representation. You know, I, I don't look at Congress or anybody in there and feel like they represent me or my family or my neighbors or my friends. Uh, it's a sentiment that is, you know, I hear all across the district when I talk to people. And it doesn't matter where these people come from or, you know, their background or their political affiliation. It's nobody feels like they're being truly represented. Arguably, the party machinery in terms of money and political infrastructure uh, seems to be essential to getting elected. So why not work within the system to try to get the changes that you're looking for? In order to work within the system, you have to become a part of that system. Uh, if I was elected, let's say, to the House, I would be an independent and I wouldn't be beholden to like party lines or anything like that. If, if you were going to tow these party lines and work within the system in order to get money, to get financing, because that's what people tell you when you're running for Congress, when you're, when you're a candidate, that's your primary job, is to get money. You know? But when you can free yourself from that, then, <clears throat> then you're, you have more options. You know, that's why I wouldn't want to work within the system. Mm -hmm. uh, you're running as an independent, which is a political party, uh, and that's different from non-affiliated voters. Uh, non-affiliated voters are the biggest group of voters in Oregon at 36 percent. We're looking at the numbers right now. That's more than a million of Oregon's three million registered voters. Uh, Democrats come in at 33 percent, Republicans at 24 percent. Independent party, uh, which you're running, in, uh, they are the largest of what we call the others at about 5%. So you look at these numbers, what do those numbers tell you about the Oregon electorate? Uh, no, that there's no representation for the mass. Uh, people think about the independent party and non-affiliated, and they, they kind of interchange the two because people don't know that the independent party is a, a minor party, right? And I don't think that that so much is important uh, as a as like a, I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to put into words. Um, Does it indicate to you that maybe uh, Oregon voters, and this is starting to become the case in many other states and across the country, uh, are open to either party uh, depending upon the individual candidate? Yeah, I mean, in a sense, I think it's more important that a Republican or a Democrat try to reach out to the independent parties or the non-affiliates. But I think it's equally important to show that the independents and unaffiliated people have somebody else that has the same ideologies, right? As running as an independent, uh, I'm not like they are, right? When the Oregon or when the independents and the, the Republicans, when they all get together and they see that somebody represents the independents and the non-affiliated more, then they start to like dismiss somebody like myself, right? Um, Is it time for open primaries? In Oregon, uh, the way that we vote in, in primaries now is you have to be a member of 
uh, the party in order to vote for the candidates in the primary. Should we change that? Uh, I mean, I don't even think I like the primaries in general. Right? One of the problems that I have is, uh, like, Chavez de Reamer and Janelle Bynum got to run for Oregon's 5th District, and they've been running for months, you know, because they're running for the primary. But what position were they elected to? What is the primary? It's not something, it's not government affiliated. You know, it's just us deciding which Republican and which Democrat get to be running for in the general election. It's kind of an unfair advantage that they have over like an independent or non-affiliated. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Congressional District 5, it's largely rural. It's got cities, including mm -hmm. Bend and Oregon City, Sisters, Happy Valley, Westland, your home of Malala is in there. Uh, what are the priorities in your district that the CD5 representative should champion in Congress? The, like, we need more local legislation uh, involvement. We need somebody to, like, we talk about PG&E and &E in the, in the rate hike, right? Uh, and how it's really squeezing uh, normal people. Uh, you don't hear Bynum or Dreamer talking about something like that. The idea that PGE, who has uh, a monopoly that's government sanctioned, you know, they get to use the government grid and they don't have any competition against them because you can't just have a, a huge grid that everybody connects to. Uh, the idea that they can say that they're going to raise rates and there's nothing that our regulators can do about it is, is ridiculous to me. And I don't ever hear anybody talking about stuff that directly impacts uh, like our district in that manner. I, I hear a lot of, you know, social issues, which are important, you know, things like that. But that's kind of what they campaign on, you know, it's like people's feelings instead of like real policy. What would be your priorities if you were elected? <sighs> Focusing locally. Like the advantage that I have, uh, if an independent was elected into office and, and not being beholden to this two-party system, is uh, if somebody comes up with an idea, whether it's Republican or Democrat, uh, the independent would have leverage. It would give Oregon District 5 leverage to say, like, what's in it for my district, you know? Um, and then I would be able to go and hold companies like PGE accountable for these rate hikes. And we could look into, like, why farming subsidies cost so much and how come local farmers can't compete with, like, big uh, corporations, things like that. Uh, we've got about a minute left, but I want to get your thoughts on this. Uh, is there any solution to the party polarization in D.C. or uh, in Salem, for that matter, or is it just too ingrained in the system? I mean, to say that there's a solution, I mean, it would be kind of, um, I don't know if I can say that there's a solution, but I think that we can approach it differently. I think that we can start talking to each other um, beyond party lines, uh, especially because the voting block of non-affiliates uh, in this country. It's not just localized to District 5. The non-affiliates are, are the largest ma ma uh, voting block in the country, you know, and we need to start talking to each other on that basis instead of Republican or Democrat. It, it can't be filtered like that. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Brett Smith, uh, running for Congressional District 5. Uh, the leaders in that race at this point are the Democrat and the Republican, the incumbent Lori chavez de Reamer and uh, Janelle Bynum. So thank you very much for being here. Again, thanks for having me.